lovers, it's me. So I am going to talk about some really vital clues, Easter eggs, similarities between Taylor Swift and Jack Antonoff and bleachers. Now, Jack Antonoff is bleachers. So what I want to preface this with, because it's going to get unhinged, is that for all of you diehard bleachers fans, I am also a big bleachers fan. So I do know Jack has his own band, his own musical career, this and that. However, Taylor likes to pull phrases, lyrics, passages from things to kind of let us know what she's talking about and leave Easter eggs. So I don't want any comments of, oh, we're in the Swifties, gonna realize that Jack has his own band called the Bleachers. I'm a big Bleachers fan, let's get that out of the way. All right, lovers, so Taylor Swift was the very first person that actually let Jack Antonoff, who's up there, um, produce her work, and that was on 1989. Now he's about one of the most important, biggest producers you can get in music, alongside having his own band called Bleachers. And if you listen to Bleachers, and if you listen to Taylor Swift, I found some similarities and some Easter eggs and some things that are going to blow your mind. First, we're going to talk about the song Don't Take the Money by Bleachers. There is a part in the song, Baby Love, You Got Me Run Away. If you've never heard this song, listen to it. It's fantastic. The way Jack describes this song is that it's not actually about like taking the money or not taking the money. It's about following your gut. And it's when don't take the money is like, don't go against your gut. Like, listen to your gut. So two things I pulled from this. Baby love is a very odd phrase to use. That is the very first two words on Bejeweled. And in the video, Taylor says, baby love, I think I've been a little too kind. Looks over at Jack, who's the prince in the music video. So there's a huge link there. And this this song is older. This is like 2017. So Taylor would have had to like pull that nugget or they would have done it together. But what's really interesting is the don't take the money part, like always follow your gut. Because in your On Your Own Kid, Taylor says the jokes weren't funny. I took the money. My friends from home don't know what to say. Basically, she's saying not talking about physical money, but she's talking about I didn't follow my gut. I didn't do the right thing. I made a mistake. And I think that's pulled right from Jack's song. And I know they've talked about it. It's just too much of a coincidence. Stay tuned for the next part. I'm going to get into the music video.